A house is not a home without the spotlight, which starts right now. This week on the spotlight, Don Jr.'s tell why his lawyer is making claims that were dismissed by the Secret Service about the Russian lawyers meeting. And what is his lawyer saying to the media that has the president attacking Hillary Clinton on Twitter? Plus, Simone Dixon, host of Kicking It With Simone, and Maximilian Mejia are back as this week's guest co-hosts. And Take it, no way, no way. Laura Risotto is rocking the spotlight with her huge performance, You Gotta See and Not Miss. You know, I just want to taste you. Oh, oh yeah. yes. Let's get it on and get this spotlight party started. Yeah! Hey! Hey! Wow! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! And welcome to the spotlight, y'all! Welcome to the spotlight! Welcome to the spotlight! Welcome to the spotlight! Welcome to the spotlight! It's not easy. I... I enjoy doing this all the time here, but we'd like to welcome as our guest co-host, the lovely and talented girl I just met who has her show called Kicking It with Simone. It's Simone Dixon! Yay! Yay! <laughs> and also joining us, we'd like to welcome back as our guest co-host, who is a guy who I go way back to high school with, for sure. For sure. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back, Maximilian Mejia. <laughs> yes. It's a pleasure to have you both back here. Thank you. Know, you're having us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. we I'm have, excited. Yeah, I'm excited as well. We're going to have a lot of time because Laura Rizzola is going to be on our show later. Uh-oh. Yes. Uh -oh. It's going to be lit. <laughs> but... As you pretty much all know, there's, there's a lot to talk about in Hot Topics. And yes. So apparently, there's this, uh, there is this, I, I, I don't know how to put this, but there's June 14th, 2017, there is this fire that broke out at the Grenfell Tower mm. oh and wow. at, the yeah. at the residential high rise that reported last, lasted for 24 hours that killed 79 people. Oh my goodness. Yeah, and the, the circumstances really? surrounding the incident has caused many to wonder how the country's fire, by uh -oh. <coughs> I'm still recovering. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I don't want to turn anything bad here. Right, okay? it's the allergy season, it's the allergy season. Well, <laughs> yeah. we're in summer, so yeah. we, got, we got to deal with what we can here. <laughs> right. Allergy season just goes straight to flu yes, season. Yes, it so. is creeping up. Yes, but Prime Minister Theresa May is currently being criticized for how she's chosen to react and handle the situation. Like, my question is, what do you think are some ways to like handle this government situation here? You know? Mm. This that is very <coughs> tricky. This is my whole thing. And we spoke about this before the show. Yeah, so backstage. Right. Mm -hmm. We know that when you when you're from a poorer community that a lot of the times situations are not handled the proper way like they should be in communities who have a higher income than others. So I just kind of mm. feel like um, we need, they need activists, people to come out from their community saying, hey, listen, we need to s get together and this is what we want done in our communities. Like, we will not stand for this, but we need to have <coughs> this done. And I think that they need people to step up to the plate and just basically come forward saying this is what we will tolerate and this is what we won't. Yeah, because, um, you know, it's important that everyone at least has someone to lead with, uh, to kind of like be, I guess, like the voice of the voiceless or to be a leader of many voices because right. nowadays no one shuts <coughs> up. Right. No one. No one will ever shut up, especially nowadays. So it's not just one person. Nowadays it's everyone. And it helps to at least have one person to guide the whole team. Right. So, you know, in this circumstance, I guess choose wisely um, since there's been criticism of all that, but. You know, just, yeah, choose wisely, because yeah. who you choose to lead your uh, groups or be, be the voice of your neighborhood matters. Right, so. right. And just to piggyback off of that, Max, it's also important for people to 
come together, like to not be afraid to say, listen, we need to come together, we need to get this done. A lot of the times we see activists and it's only one person being the voice for everyone, but yeah. it's important for everyone to come together as a group saying, we're a group and this is what we will stand for and this is what we won't. So exactly. I think it should be unity in a group. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. We all have to come together as one and just face the reality that is in our society and uh, we, are, we all have to fight back to get our country back to where it was. Because at the point, we were at the point where we're like, uh-uh, <laughs> this is not how it was in the beginning, uh-uh. Mm -hmm. You know, no. Yeah. We, we, gotta we gotta face the truth and the facts. Right. <coughs> and and I'm sorry exactly I could barely speak, because I yeah. forgot to gargle salt water this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Use vinegar uh, and salt, vinegar and salt water. I'm yes. sorry. That's the trick. Now, but there's this Kevin King and fellow professor that were abducted by the Afghan military. And they nearly, nearly a year ago, um, they, on a main road near a university while Afghan, they pulled from their US SUV and a video had been released saying to the new guy, mm. <laughs> have mercy on me or get me out. The Taliban, that, and the Taliban of the release of the prisoners is returning of the professors, for sure. And, and let me just give you like, um, what they were stating in the comments here. Like it, it, he said, please do not send any command mills. According, and it was, this was according to intelligence of a jihadi monitoring company. And like, what is going on here with this new guy? Uh -huh. You know what? Let me be politically correct, you know, since we are on TV. Mm -hmm. Let me try to censor what I'm going to say. In regards to him, is it, correct me if I'm wrong, they have people hostage? Is it because that people from the Taliban are like held here, like not really captive, but as prisoners here? And so they want to do some kind of trade off? Is that what it is? Right. I think that's what, that's what basically what it is, if I'm reading this correctly here. Yeah. They're trying to trade a life for a life. Yes. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh yes, now that, now, that it, now that it comes back to me, that th that was the whole deal. They were trying to get his attention, um, but as far as the whole scenario, um, I don't know because Trump will say anything, and he sometimes it's scary. Know. Like even though people mm -hmm. love that he's blunt, so they trust the fact that nothing will be completely hidden. Um, and this situation uh, I would leave it to someone who would actually know how to negotiate something like that because you're talking about bringing back someone who's been held hostage and while some people would be like it's one guy keep in mind if this is broadcasted and that's gonna look like a big problem mm. even if it's just this guy and maybe one other person but choose your words wisely my good man mm. who runs the office now because right. you know you don't you don't want to be the reason something goes wrong, you know? Yeah. Right. Everybody's just waiting for 2018 to come real soon. Yeah. <laughs> 2018 will not matter. You well, got to wait for, what's four years from now? 2020. <laughs> exactly. So. Or 2021, if you want to put it that way. Yeah, right. 2020. Yeah, so, 2020, that's three years from so now. So anyway, let's enjoy now yeah. while we can. Yes. So, like, my whole question is, okay, so in exchange, right, they want, to do some kind of trade-off. So they want the t um, Taliban, the people from the Taliban, right? They want to do a trade-off. And is it true that they have, like, U.S. professors held hostage? From what I could understand, that it's basically in that particular format. Um, I don't know too much about it, but I'm pretty sure this is the information that I had read from right. off the Internet here. So... It was it, so I did, I gotta find out more about that. But that's a good question though to keep in mind though right. to see what is why we because they the, they have to release these prisoners because yes. we're looking at them as if they're innocent people. They did not do this crime, all right? Because they they're doing their part right. in doing their job to do whatever it is for the American people or. or or for their country in particular. Right. You know? And it's just sad that they have to like, you know, feel the wrath of the fire. <coughs> so we definitely do want them and President Trump to 
come to some kind of agreement where we can do like an even exchange. Like I know there is a lot of tension, a lot, a lot of things that we don't know about in the government, but yeah. hopefully that we can come to some kind of resolution because I know everyone is just tired of the drama and the tension and the rioting. Like we're supposed yeah. to be a country of unity, mm -hmm. not, not breaking apart. So yeah. I just hope that we could come to some resolution where it's no bloodshed, no gunshots, no mm -hmm. bombs, you know? No violence. No I violence, just keep it peaceful. Yeah. I think um, no, raci no racism either. Yes. I think it's a matter of like, because the thing is, what it sounds like, I don't know how Trump's meetings go about, but from what it sounds like, it just sounds like he just needs to come up with more better ideas. Um, other than that, I think the meetings will go peaceful, depending on who he's talking to. Because whenever I hear about his meetings, it just sounds like the ideas he throws out are a little too extreme. Right. Because this is a, while people have their issues with the government, at the end of the day, this is still a democracy. So you have to come up with ideas that sound that like like a democracy not a matter of like no this is how we're gonna do it and that's it like compromise everything is about compromise so like you said um, he just needs to I guess speak to his advisors see what they come up with or um, the UN at this point uh, since this is a international matter at right. this point because mm -hmm. this is no longer domestic but yeah, I mean, honestly, in the, in the day and age, uh, just this last thing, I have seen a little bit more unity. Uh, there was anger at first, and I think there still will be, but I've seen more people show more kindness towards each other, believe it or not. Um, it was just like, because there are more, I think we have been influenced to treat each other better despite what has happened during Obama's presidency. Right. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, um, even with Trump now, I think it's gotten better in the sense of, how people treat each other while there's still your group of like we don't like you he's gonna make us better and right. you guys are this and that like you know that is that's true. one small percentage as opposed to how everyone else is right they, there is a small percentage of people like coming together saying it's like the mutual understanding that at in the state that we're in right now we definitely do not need brokenness or like division yeah. this is definitely the time to come together and just do what we have to do as a people yeah. as whole as one yeah what do you think David <laughs> there are no words. I know. You know, speaking of what you've mentioned, Simone, I, I have no comment on that right. here, but. <sighs> it's just crazy. I know. Crazy. I, it's very crazy. I, I, ugh, you know, there's this Don Jr. That's about as close as I come just to saying his name that right. way. You heard the I reaction, almost right? call him the worst D DJ on earth. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> worst DJ. Uh -oh. Yeah, or whatever you want to call it. But, uh, but musician, his though? story about his Russian lawyer meeting, oh, dear. it just keeps changing and changing. I'm looking at, is it just baloney? Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, and the gifts list of the folks just keeps growing and growing from this June 2016 meeting. And you know, I thank God my name was on that list because I don't know those people. Okay, I hear that. I'm sorry Say I spit, it but it's Say like, it <laughs> you know, it's like. <laughs> but recently, the White House spent a weekend in full spin mode here. And here's what the new guy, Jay Sekulo, who does not know how to keep his story straight, <laughs> but here's what Jay Sekulo recently said on his last appearance on Fox News Sunday with Chris Wallace. Take a look. Do you now acknowledge that all of those denials are at the very least suspect? The former FBI director, was the FBI director at the time, James Comey, had a series of meetings with the President of the United States. Conversations he had with the President Jay, of the United States. Jay, he gives I, I'm, I'm, Hold Jay, on a second, Chris. I'm aware of the Chris, history, me, but this doesn't have anything to do with my question, which is whether or not there were, whether has, or not there Chris, were contacts. It has that, everything. To, yeah. Can you answer the me, question? I'm going to answer your question. Does this? I am, and you're going to and, and you're going to let me answer it. So I do not think the denials are suspect. Man, I got to say, it's like there are times where. You may want to watch Fox News just for Chris Wallace because, you know, Chris Wallace is not playing with you. Answer the <laughs> damn question. <laughs> you know? Right. And then right. the new guy just can't just shut up for once 
or twice. <laughs> since well, he, he doesn't have three times a lady. Well, mm. he, is, he is the one that made reality TV a bigger hit. Yeah. What I he still think, who still thinks he's in reality TV for mm. sure. But uh, yeah, after nice. the new guy in office, he had his Sunday morning tweet storm defend his son, asking why his son is getting scorned while Hillary can illegally debate questions, delete a ton of emails, and use the term, as usual, fake news. Well, for one thing, he has well, to real, I mean, that's the thing. I was going to say, this is reminding me of, like, Hillary, <laughs> only uh, it's like the stuff that came out while she was running for president, how, like, yeah. her, 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 her views on things kind of changed over time, like, Oh, I'm only for married. I'm only for uh, heterosexual marriage. Then, twenty ten years later, it's I'm all for gay marriage. Like, then which one is it? Because uh, right. then you sound like a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. In this case, I think it's just some guys are really having a hard time hiding it because there's too much there that's showing that they are in cahoots with Russia. So, mm. look, if you're in cahoots, fine. Then just yeah, I don't know. Because you're, you're not gonna hide anything at this right. point. Yeah. Let me just say that because look, look, look at this. You, you, were, you, new guy, were the one that bragged about winning this election, and you just kept, why, we want to know why your stuff is smelly, why your stuff stinks, all right? This has nothing to do with Hillary, okay? This is the issue of why you're the one that has the problem, okay? So you're the issue, all right? Get over yourself, you know? Oh, dear. Mm. We're going to be I on know, the you, news. You feel it now, I know, right? Where I'm sorry. <laughs> Mainstream media, you know, we apologize, you know? <laughs> we're, we're just, you know, discussing what the audience wants to hear, you know? These are not our yeah. true beliefs. You right. Know? You know, we just... <laughs> Right. Yeah, we don't know. But look, he's got he's got a little lower approval rate. I think he's marking Chris Christie territory for sure. Oh gosh. Well yeah. I don't know about Chris Christie, but <coughs> you know, it's just so <coughs> much going on politically that I cannot keep up. Like yeah. it just seems to me like I was I was keeping up in the beginning, like with Trump and the election and you know, the problems that were arising in the beginning. But now I, I just cannot keep up. Like it just seems to be like one issue after another. I, I just cannot keep up. It's all, it's, it seems to me it's, it's, it's always something in the media now with yeah. him or him arguing with someone. And I just, <laughs> we just need to come to a resolution. Like, peace, you know, we just want peace. We don't need all this drama. We have enough going right. on and enough division as it is. Yeah. We definitely <coughs> don't need the leader of our nation to, you know, bring forth these kind of problems. So well, we just want the resolution, <coughs> yeah. that's it. Uh, What's your predictions on the Trump administration or in the future coming up? Um, well, I can only hope for the best, but what I will say is, I just hope that his administration, you know, the, the audience and the, cit the citizens and people who live in the United States, you know, we are voicing our opinions and we're saying that we don't like what's going on, so we just hope that they are listening to our concerns and try to make a resolution for what's going on, because mm -hmm. we are speaking and I know they are listening, so we just hope yeah, for the best. Too many of us are talking. Yes. Just watch. Trump's gonna <coughs> tweet about us. We yeah. don't like the people in the spotlight. I find <laughs> them very, I find them very disrespectful. Right. And I do not appreciate young people talking about what they do not know. We're like, look, right. now, look, look, one, look. One thing we, about this look, year, look, we do know just, quite a bit. Can I, can I just stick my behind in here just for a second here? Mm, I don't think okay, I want your behind okay. anywhere near me. Because if <laughs> Trump stick tweets, it in, David, stick it in. if <laughs> Trump tweets about us, don't worry, we're gonna get him back. Cause. We're keeping my eye. On, we're keeping our eye on you, cause you are the issue. Okay, uh, you're the issue. Okay. Hi, Mr. President. Um, if you're watching the show, no. listen. We don't. We. I don't want any beef. Look, okay. He's not. To me, he's not my president. Okay. I uh, refuse okay. to say that Look, he's my president. Well, that's something you're gonna have to deal with, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, he kind of is I'm not our saying. President. I'm not saying <coughs> that to sound like everyone that we that give us a, a problem. Yeah. It's just that the at the end of the day, he is. Yeah. Right. We may you not do, like all, what's going on. What I would is. like. What I would actually like is. We can help give ideas, whether he takes it or not. Mm -hmm. yes. But if he doesn't, that's up to him. So I don't know. Yeah, this is probably why Whoopi Goldberg and I like to prefer her address the new guy in office. Hey, Whoopi. <laughs> <laughs> right. We'll be right back with more Hot Topics. <laughs> So 
uh, there is this uh, New Mexican art dealer that hid a treasure chest for people that will get off their butt and go find it. Look, I don't want to go. I'm not a treasure hunt person, but that's how I am. But uh, <laughs> but guess this here: 52-year-old Paris Wallace and 54-year-old Randy Bailio. That's I hope I said that name right here. But they hid the lost. But lo they lost their lives in the search of the hidden treasure. Wow. Local New Mexican police are asking him to call off the treasure hunt, stating he's putting lives at risk. And let me just state this here, because it's like. There are about 265 gold coins, mostly American Eagles and double eagles. Wow. Not in golf, though, but, wow. uh, <laughs> but hundreds of golden nug gold nuggets, such some as a large chicken egg, ancient Chinese carved, J figures, pre Columbian, ML artifacts. It's like the list keeps going on and on. Mm -hmm. Can we go on the so hunt? <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> um, Max, you trying to lose your life? Like, we it's don't want to do call that. It's called camouflage. No, look, this is look, serious. Look, look, rent is high here, okay? We need all the money we can. No, this is very sad. Like, you yeah. know, anytime yeah. you hear about death, it's definitely a sad thing. So yeah. definitely um, I want to send my condolences to the families who did lose their family members because that's not an easy thing to deal with, especially, you know, in other yeah. areas that we're not familiar with. You know, we definitely want to be cautious of what we say, you know, because that could be right. hurtful. Do you really think this treasure hunt should be called off immediately? Or even if we're on a pirate ship and you're like, ahoy, bitches! <laughs> well, if you're on a pirate ship, if it has to come to that, then yes, call off the treasure hunt. I mean, look, I want money as much as the next person, but <laughs> if you gotta, if you gotta, if you're gonna, I mean, I don't know. Because if there's clear, for one thing, if, if it's for the wrong reasons, don't. You know, if you're gonna, if people are just gonna get, keep getting killed off, then don't bother. Cause I think there are mm -hmm. better, safer methods of doing this. But at the same time, people do kill for money, unfortunately. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It's I don't want to. I don't want to encourage something that will just lead to problems. Because anything that's for a cause is gonna take some risk. Like certain act, like you know, being an activist or something. Back in the day, you would die. You had to be willing to die. Um, you know, if you're fighting for equal rights, especially at that time. It was with this, I don't think money's worth killing yourself over. Definitely I mean, not. you know, it's you know, it's one thing to want to be a Hollywood actor and you risk going homeless trying to get a role because sometimes that does happen. But uh, with this, no. Yeah, you it, know, this there are better ways of getting money. And if you're yeah. a drug dealer, get help. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, I just kind of feel like, that. <laughs> yeah, like if it was, in a, if if the treasure hunt was for a good cause, like whoever can collect the most coins gets like um, the the what do you how, um, what are the words I'm looking for? Uh, the like gold treasure, the yeah. or the X marks the spot. Right, or right. kind of like you get mm -hmm. this medal for like the gold medal. The commun the community's hero. Like if right. it was for a good cause, but this 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 hunt is definitely a problem. People have lost their lives. Like, when do when do they draw the line and say, "Listen, this enough is enough"? Like, lives have been lost. Like, that's very serious to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. And definitely, they need like some kind of reprimandment going on. Like, if police definitely need to get involved because that's not okay. Yeah, totally. Because okay. because either cause either this place was hidden very well, or they're just not using proper tactic. Yeah. Either way. If that's the case, come up with a better tactic. If you're just someone who's trying to get it for the wrong reasons, Mr. Drug Dealer, don't. Yeah. Right. Well, look, let's just pretend we're not on a pilot ship, but we'll pretend we're on a plane and we're taking a nice, relaxing vacation. And if you were on that plane, what, where would you want to go and why for a nice vacation? Hmm. That's an interesting question. Mm -hmm. That is a very interesting question. Because with me, I probably would go anywhere that's not outside of the United States. I could go to LA, maybe Hawaii, it depends. Though, Hawaii but that's is part of the uh, United States. It, <laughs> it, it, it is part of the United States, but I'm saying like... Within the actual... F like within the actual distance. Right. Yes. Well, um, uh, there's not a lot of international places I would like to go to. <laughs> maybe <laughs> Ili Italy, because I studied it in high school. Okay. Mm -hmm. But um, <laughs> For now, I really actually want to go to LA because I haven't been there and I've been wanting to for years. 
Yes. Yeah. Well, let's all take a trip down to L.A. Right. West we'll take this. We'll take this show on the road. Yes. Can y'all yeah. do the West Side thing? I have to like cross my fingers yeah, to well, actually do it. I, 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 I this this could that. take a West while side. here, but no. Well, I I can't I, just cross them automatically. Like uh, I can't do that thing I that they do. No. I have mm. to like actually move my fingers. Like oh. Yeah. Like same. This. Yeah. I can't just. <laughs> Yeah. I can do this, but that's about it. Yeah, like, yeah. I think I'm going to need some Nutrinail after this show. So, yeah. anybody from the West Coast, we need lessons on how to cross our fingers or the mask. Yeah, <laughs> yeah but, let, but I just want to, well, the reason why I ask, because, is if you were on a plane, how would you feel if you saw this? Look. <laughs> oh. I mean, a woman just posted a photo of of those feet that were like lean back and one of them that opened and closed the window shut. Mm. I mean, one of them just, it was like the movie My Left Foot. You ever saw that movie? I never saw it. I mean, I heard of it. <laughs> that is, oh. <laughs> I should do my Raven Simone voice. You're nasty. You're nasty, okay? Listen, <laughs> nobody, okay, that is disgusting. Yeah, even, yeah. If, even if she has socks on, still, you do not put your bare, nasty, crusty toes, okay, on the seats that people sit in. That is not okay. That's mm. not okay. I, listen, y'all, I could not have been on that plane because, <laughs> listen. That was, uh, that it wasn't, that, been, that it wasn't, went a, down. That, that, I'm guessing that wasn't a, wait a minute. Uh-oh. <laughs> <That's, laughs> May, I could see that happening on maybe on a red eye flight, but because there's less people on that red eye, but mm. surrounded by yeah, this was on a jet or less. It was on oh. a jet blue flight. <laughs> this oh didn't God. happen no in New wonder. York because you know us New Yorkers, we don't care oh, how no, we no. come across. She's so. from she's from here, right? Is she? No. I believe so. Her name was uh, Carly. Cle I forgot what her name was, but I know I saw it. It's basically she she was the one that posted that, and she was so embarrassing, it was like the nightmare of her life. That is disgusting. Mm -hmm. I wonder what possessed her to do it, but I guess she's just one of those like, I don't care. Yeah, look, put your socks on. Okay. Or just, ju but just don't do that at all, okay? You're well, they're, nasty, they're, okay? You know what, there have been worse. Yeah, because those, those feet don't look good, okay? Okay, they and did then, not. I'm sure there's been worse on there. Were they even filed? Were they filed? I, <laughs> who knows? Who, who knows? knows? <laughs> Who yeah. knows here? But so you know, are we just reacting or giving an opinion? What, that <laughs> both. Oh, well. uh, yeah, you know what? As disturbing as that can be, I, there, I've seen worse on a subway train mm -hmm. and even in the station. Mm -hmm. I trust, have to. Yeah. Trust me. Oh, so, yeah. Well, look, here's another topic I, that we should mention. How would you feel if you went to Starbucks? <laughs> oh, gosh. And, re and got like a, s ouch, on that. <laughs> you actually did it? Well, look, I had to no, do no. it. No, no, be careful. I, I, I promise. But look, st a Starbucks in Seattle just unveiled their new $7 wake-up slack. A spokeswoman named Gina Barish said that this... Open hand <laughs> smack face is perfect for those days but where not, you barely drag. Yeah. <laughs> what? Barely drag yourself out of bed. Really need a pick me up. So they so, basically say the palm slap can be can like give you some <coughs> kind of booster like an extra shot basically that includes a stiff backhand across the other cheek I mean, would you take that slap <laughs> i mean, uh, I, mean <laughs> I mean i i've been slapped and not for pleasant reasons oh but i mean listen what y'all already know me um, if I got slapped at starbucks your girl would not be here for this taping cuz no. i definitely be in cuffs Somewhere yeah. in bookings. We'll see, we'll but see, we'll I do see have you a on Instagram. Instagram. Free card, though. We'll see you on Instagram Free and Simone. Facebook. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's no one gonna slap me. Who wants to get slapped from Starbucks, though? I, I don't understand Kinky that. people. Well, maybe exactly. I would, but not, <laughs> not exactly. That's ridiculous. I mean. People actually are paying to get slapped by Starbucks employees. What? Like, And who even said this was okay? Like, who said, listen, who, matter of fact, who came up with the concept saying, hey, listen, this is what we're going to do. We're gonna get together and we're gonna slap customers to give them a pick me up. Like, I because wanna know who sat enough? down in the meeting and proposed this idea. Like, 
Who are you? Come forth. Hit us up on Instagram. You know, let us know. The spotlight <laughs> Eminem. You know, come for this. Tell us your opinions. Maybe you, maybe you meant it in, like, a good way. Like, maybe not to insult anybody. Or maybe you thought it was a good idea. So wherever you are, if you're watching this, just hit David up and let him know who you are. And your idea or approach of the backhand Starbucks slap. That's, did they actually <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm still refracting to that photo. Yes. Like, that Starbucks and employee, she, she just got that stuff up. Just, okay. just you know, demonstrate to me, Simone. Just demonstrate, but don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, that is ridiculous. I really mean, coffee's not enough. why would Starbucks get it together, man? Come on, guys. Uh. That's right. Yeah. Like David oh. said, get it together, Starbucks. I'm going to need you to get it all <laughs> the way together. Yeah. It's winding down, but I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, uh, <laughs> you know, the, but a story is close to, but you know, there's the batch. Who knows about the Bachelor in Paradise? It's coming up soon. Yeah. I haven't heard of it. Well, well, apparently, Demario Jackson is saying adios to. Say, oh, wait, we got to go to break. No, oh, uh, oh, okay. We, I was just told. So. Let me just say this. Here's another thing. We're gonna go and come back with, with more hot topics. All right? Is that right? I, I think that is. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see you in a moment. Okay? <laughs> Take a walk on the wild side. Let me kiss your heart in the pouring rain. You like a girl's insane. Oh, oh. Choose your last words. This is the last time. Take it. Time, you know, I see the way you look at my body, feel my heart race whenever you touch me. Don't be afraid to show me you want me, just take me now. Lift me off the ground. Oh, girl, now you got it going on, and we are so glad to have her here on the spotlight. She is a 23 year old singer slash songwriter who just received a master's degree in music. Wait a minute. Let's just let that sink in for a minute. A master's degree in music. Let me continue on. And this summer, she is set to come out with her new EP. So definitely, viewers, be on the lookout for her new EP. So please welcome the fabulous and talented Laura Risotto. <laughs> When it's convenient and she's not around, you accuse me of being too much while well, I'm getting sick of standing in the background. I'll take a risk, step into center stage. She cuts me off. You remain silent. You're just a puppet hanging from her fingertips every day. Spot. How I wish she let you and I She drags you to the dark side And it hurts feeling like we don't deserve the spotlight It's a cold war but I'll keep fighting for you Ela vem, diz que tem que te afastar de tudo até não ter mais ninguém. Como é que você a deixou entrar e se aproveitar de todos que te querem? Bem difícil ver quando ela te cega, difícil ter fé quando ela nega. Acreditar na luz que eu sei que você tem. Deixe meu ver. Como eu queria te levar Eu vejo bem no teu olhar Tanta dor e escuridão na alma Vem, eu quero iluminar Libertar tudo que você contém Eu quero te lembrar 
Quando se perder eu quero ser tua luz Eu quero ser tua luz Quando a escuridão toma teu coração Quero ser tua luz And I'll keep fighting for you I'll keep on fighting for you Till the battle is won and she's forever gone I'll keep fighting for the spotlight How I wish you let you and die She drags you to the dark side And it hurts feeling like we don't deserve the spotlight I wish I could pull you away I can hear you cry It's a cold war but I'll keep fighting for you I'll keep fighting for you So this next song is called The High, and it's the first single off of my new EP, Ruby. And it's just about when you have chemistry with somebody, and both of you know it, but nobody does anything about it. <laughs> and I went through that situation, so I ended up writing this song as my way to put these, these feelings out there and make my own first move. So this is The High. <laughs> Tell me, have you ever felt this before? I don't think I can hold back anymore. All this waiting, I can't take it. No way, no way, baby. It's time, you know. I see it the way you look at my body. Feel my heart race whenever you touch me. Don't be afraid, show me you want me. Just take me now. Lift me off the ground I don't ever want to come back down We want this, we need this Cause the higher we get, the harder we fall Take me for a ride I know that you feel my kind of high We want it, we need it Cause the higher we get, the harder we fall Dun dun da dun dun da 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 Dun dun da da we can make it if we don't risk it all So pull the trigger, baby Take control all this waiting I can't take it, no way, no way We can let this go I see the way Feel my heart race whenever you touch me Don't be afraid, show me you want me Just take me now, lift me off the ground I don't ever want to come back down We want this, we need this Cause the higher we get, the harder we fall Take me for a ride I know that you feel my kind of high We want it, we need it Cause the higher we get, the harder we fall Lift me off the ground I don't ever want to come back down We want it, we need it Cause the higher we get, the harder we fall Take me for a ride I know that you feel my kind of high We want it Let you feel my kind of high We want it, we need a kiss Ooh, na 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 Hey Ooh, na 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 Ooh, na 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 Ooh, na 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 Oh! 
on fire. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. We just got to go through some business here because, you know, I've heard you've received a master's degree at Columbia University. How does it feel? It feels pretty amazing. Uh, I loved going to Columbia. It was an amazing experience. And mm -hmm. I'm excited now to get back to work, release my new stuff. Super stoked. Mm. Super stoked. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, so, I think, it's yeah. so it says here that you, is it true that you worked as a coach for Jennifer Lopez? Yes, um, she did a duet with a huge Brazilian artist called Roberto Carlos, oh. and then she had to sing it in Portuguese. And so they called me, and I was her vocal coach to sing in Portuguese in the duet, and it was such oh an amazing wow. experience. Yeah. So you had to go out into Brazil to do it, or you were no, here? No, it was, it was in New York. Yeah, yeah we oh heard wow. it in New York, yes. Nice. That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. So I have a question. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, I was going to ask, like, you grew up in Rio, or you yes. were just born there? You oh no, I was born and raised mm -hmm. in Rio. I'm a carioca, that's how we call people in Rio. Nice. Yes, but then I've been in the U.S. for like five years now, so wow. a while. Nice. It's moving all around the U.S., but yeah, here's cool. so five years. And you're liking it so far from what oh, I can I tell. I love it, I love it. Mm -hmm. I like moving around too, because then you get to you know, go to different places, meet different people. Right. And New York City has that amazing thing that there are people from everywhere here. So it's like you're traveling all over the world by staying in one place. Nice. And I absolutely love it. Yeah. 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 Just be careful of King Kong. He rises <laughs> up the Empire <laughs> State Building at any moment. Uh, they got rid of him. Here. They got rid of him decades ago. Yeah. So don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, we got rid. We got rid of him. Where's your hat, Max? Well, I'm just curious. Uh, oh, I. <laughs> it's a long story. I'll uh, get that later. Well, well <laughs> tell us about it later. Uh, yeah, yeah. After the okay. backstage, right. okay? So we have I have a question. Questions. Yes, I have a question. So yes. you did mention New York. Now in New York, we have a, our own little slang. So like, you got it going on, or like you popping, like. Means you, that means you're the, you're the ish, right? <laughs> so, like in Portuguese, <laughs> is there like any slang that we can learn? Like, <gasps> oh wow. I like that one. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm trying to think of slangs that are not the, like because <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people in Rio tend to curse a lot. Right. Um, I think you can say like if you want to say someone's cool, like você é maneiro. Maneiro is like saying you're cool. Maneiro. 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 Yeah, yeah. There you go. So all the viewers, maneiro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. push. I'm gonna push that to my friends. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're my neighbor. Yeah. You're my neighbor. Yeah. Cara is also something. I mean, from Rio. I'm from Rio, so it's like, Calif like like the California of Brazil. If you look at it here, okay. so people are like more the surfer dudes, and instead of saying like dude, we say cara. Cara. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, okay. Cara. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. Mm, yeah, I right. can't remember the name of that song. It's a classic song that goes like, Toda day. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait, which one? <laughs> I, I, I can't remember the name of it, but anyway. I feel like I know what that is, I just can't think. Wow. Mm. Yes, but um, I was just looking at, you have like an amazing start, because you started becoming a senior when you were seven years old. Yeah. yeah Tell I us more about that. Uh, I mean, I think I found out I wanted to be an artist at that age. Just, mm -hmm. you know, I, I saw a presenting singer I love on TV, and it just clicked. You know, when you see it, you're like, that's what I want to do. Right. And then since then, I've been pursuing it. But of course, when I was like a kid, nobody took me seriously. And they're like, yeah, yeah, she wants to be a pop star. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has a phase. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But, <laughs> but then I started studying music and <coughs> writing my own things. And I think my parents saw how seriously I was taking everything, that I wanted a career out of it. It was a passion. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, when I was 15, I did my first show professionally as a singer-songwriter. <laughs> and then I got signed with Universal Music Brazil at 16, released my first album there in Brazil with original wow. songs. <laughs> and then I got to perform all over Brazil, it was fun. And then I moved to the US because I got a scholarship for Berkeley, College nice. of Music. That's and nice. I always wanted a career in internationally because wow. I write in English, so. Right. Um, Speaking of singles, yes. you're coming out with a single coming out or album coming up this summer. Yes. Tell us about that. Okay, so this is supposed to be like a mini third album. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it's called Ruby, it's an EP. Uh, instead of releasing just one album with 12 tracks, I'm kind of dividing them in three, maybe mm -hmm. four EPs. And each one of them has a facet I have as a, as a songwriter, as an artist, because I like pop, but I also like blues, I like soul. Right, so right. the first one is Ruby. Um, uh, they're all precious stone themed, so it's a collection of precious stones. Okay. Uh, the first one is Ruby, and it's super pop driven, um, like the high that I just played. Um, and then the second one will be, we'll see, we'll see. But I'm super excited. I'm releasing it single by single. I just released the high, and I'm not releasing cherry on top. They say 
Ruby. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking Ray Charles. That because oh, I know that no. song by heart, but this is different here. Yeah, <laughs> leave it to the professionals. <laughs> well, <laughs> I think we're gonna let Laura do that. You know. Well, <laughs> you name it. Here, um, but I also wanted to ask because. I was just reading when I was doing like a real research about you that mm -hmm. that this past June you and your sister have visited a private public school in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, and talked about studying abroad and pursuing careers in entertainment. What went through your mind in like to giving that out there to the students at the schools? Uh, it was amazing. We visited a, a few schools, so we there, were there a few times. Uh, it was so rewarding. Because, of course, both of us worked really hard to be here. We come from another country. It's always, you know, the hustle. Uh, mm -hmm. Come here to pursue everything we dreamed of. But being able, we were also very lucky in a lot of things that happened and with the support of our family and, you know, just having each other too. But it, it was cool to be able to have a, the chance to go back to where we came from and kind of give back in that sense of, like, how can we help other people achieve what they want as well and what are different ways that they can do it that's not maybe not so traditional you know right and just like be able feeling like you're inspiring someone is like the best feeling ever that's <laughs> awesome so it was it was great it was so rewarding it was amazing giving right. people that umph to like yeah to like go for it you know? do, right. right yeah i think a lot of people from uh other countries sometimes they w when you think about moving to another country it's a very scary thing right, right? so it was cool to tell them like you can do it if you want to do it it's going to be fine you're going to grow you're going to mm -hmm. open up your mind so that was really fun right yeah. and that's awesome right. and your career apparently started at 17 so how exactly did you get yourself started uh especially at 17 like <laughs> you don't know too many people that do that anymore <laughs> i mean I think I've been studying music since a very long, very young age. I started doing like classical ballet when I was eight years old and then classical piano at around that time too. Uh, so I think I've been preparing myself for it for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And then I actually, I did my first show like per officially at 15, but at 17 was when I released my first album mm -hmm. through the major label. But I think it was just, Kind of, I, I think w it was more about telling the world of what I wanted to do and going for it and then telling the people that I thought could help me out. And then you just gotta get that intention and put it out there and right. then see what the universe does and just keep mm. hustling, so. That's, that's true. Yeah, that's we exactly could do the hustle true. after this show here. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 I have a question. <laughs> On the music side, is it true that you opened for Demi Lovato? I did, yes. Oh, yeah. So tell us about that. How was that experience? Oh, it was amazing. Um, she was doing the Unbroken tour in Latin America, and then she went by Sao Paulo in Brazil, and it was a stage for 7,000 people, wow. and wow. it was it was so cool. Uh, I, I've always admired Demi. She's a like, kick-ass vocalist. Yes. I don't know if I can say that here, but <laughs> whoa, <laughs> she's yes. an amazing vocalist, yes. <laughs> um, and be able to open for her, and uh, her audience took me so well, so it was a, an amazing experience. Sure. That's awesome. How yes. old were you at that time? I was, I was 17. Mm. Wow. <laughs> Baby. Talk about <laughs> when she was seventeen. Definitely <laughs> got it, it going on. Okay? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it's funny because, like, I think when I look back, I didn't real. Now I realize how young I was. Not that, like back then, I was like, oh, why not? I'm mm -hmm. gonna do this, and I was like, whoa. Right. I was a kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Impressive. Right. Thank now, you. what like what was going through your mind? Like, I know maybe a little bit of butterflies. Seven thousand people. That's a lot of people. So, <gasps> like, what was your age. mindset? Like, I have to do. I have to do. Get everything correct. Like, what was that? You know. I think that was the show that I did that I was the least nervous. Mm. I felt like really? I think I know the show that you're talking about because I wanted to give a background history mm. that the first time I saw Laura was on the youth channels The Nightcap. And oh. that was when I was watching the performance and the interview and she has such an amazing background in history. And I was like, get Laura on the show. She's got <laughs> it. She's got it going on here. Yes. <laughs> but I, I think it, it's like, uh, I mean, I love performing and thank you guys for having me once again. Uh, you're very welcome. Um, but um, I think that the reason why that one was the one that I was the least nervous is that when they put you in front of an audience of that many people, it's such a position of power as well. Right. So you're kind of like, you gotta just own it. I was like, okay. Yeah. Let's play. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's, yeah. Let's, get, Let's get it going. I've yeah. been I've been doing that backstage ever since we started this show here. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like I'm like Laura's here. Oh Laura's God. here. <laughs> yeah. I've been dying because she's like the talented superstar on earth. Like, look, oh, just yeah. look. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh. I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. I'm flattered. Thank yes. You. Uh, Let me tell you the high. That's my new. That's that is my oh song. Yeah. 
Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I'm third round. <laughs> oh, I don't want to yeah. listen. The high make whatever. Spotify, right? Yeah. Spotify. Go on it's Spotify. On Amazon Music, at iTunes, Apple Music, everywhere. It's yeah. Everywhere. And there's a music yeah. video for it as well on YouTube. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So we recorded here in New York. Yes. Bushwick with lots, lots of street arts. Yes. yes. Oh. We gotta have you back sometime, even yeah. though we have more questions asked. But yeah. we gotta go. Right. We gotta uh, get this going here. Right. <laughs> Uh, I'd tell you for not, sure. There's not room for one more last question, right? Squeeze it in. Uh, just as the last thing, what would you say to people who are starting out now, like anyone who wants to go into music, now in the digital age, what would you tell them as a good startup advice? If you could think That's of a good anything. question. I think when you talk about digital age, I think of you can collaborate with people that are not where you live. I think that's one cool thing to keep in mind. Like social media is a great way for you to meet think people you can collab with musically as well. So just keeping that in mind and just kind of put yourself out there. You know, you, you have the, um, you're capable to create your own platform nowadays with the internet and everything. So make the most of that. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there. And it's just about taking the first step to get things going. So. Right. Yeah. Well, yes. thank you for coming. It's yes. been a thank pleasure you for having me. Yes. And we want to give our special thanks to Laura Risotto. You can catch her music on SoundCloud, YouTube, and believe me, you'll be jamming out in no time. Like the high, like I was jamming out to take me up the ground. I don't wanna, don't wanna mess up the words, but <laughs> just, just download our music, I'm telling you. Spotify, YouTube, SoundCloud, get it popping there. You name and, it. And yes, Laura's gonna do her second performance after the break. You don't wanna miss it, stay tuned, it's the Spotify. <laughs> Hey y'all, we want to give a special thanks to Maximilian Mejia and Simone Dixon for co-hosting. Before we leave, from Laura, remind us where we can find your music. Uh, I'm on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, uh, SoundCloud, just, you know, all the social medias. Um, yes. I'm also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm releasing a lot of cool new stuff very soon. So follow eating, your, eating your CD. Yes, yes. yes. Remind yes. us about that. Uh, I mean, I have a couple of albums that are already out on the platforms, but I'm releasing a new EP, and it's track by track that I'm releasing, so news every day. Um, yeah. You trying to got get it. And be sure to like the Youth Channel Facebook page at the Youth Channel One. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at The Youth Channel. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Youth Channel MNN. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh. Also, don't oh. for... I'm sorry, Mike. It's okay. I think he misses his hat. I think that's one yeah, of the reasons. Yeah, we need to get the hat. <laughs> yeah, I'm... Rue, can we get the hat for no. Max, please? No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. It's all right. If you don't mind, <laughs> let me go. The Stunner Shades, right. okay? Also, also, don't forget to like the Spotlight on Facebook at the Spotlight TV. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at the Spotlight MNN. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel by going to www.tinyurl.com. Tinyurl.com slash this is the Spotlight MNN. For your heads up, I, I'm going to help you out, all right? Because this basically. F subscribe to us at go to tinyurl.com slash the spotlight tv -N -N -N. you'll find exclusive updates you'll probably see laura here on the spotlight and my silliness in addition okay <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> but i promise you it's not a, a lot of work it's very simple and a special thanks to you as well for watching our special thanks in addition to laura risotto for doing her performance we couldn't have done it without you. And until then, good luck, be well, be safe, have a great week, and this is my favorite part I enjoy. Take a little time to have fun and enjoy the, the spotlight! spotlight! Booyah! Drop the mic! Woo! Ooh, <laughs> find your way, on. Why are you throwing things? Why? Uh, Take it this away, Laura. Right. Cool. This That's next cool. song is my new single from my EP, Ruby, and it's called Cherry on Top. It's a cool song to play at a pool party, which is actually where the music video of it happens. It's on YouTube, so go check it out. And yeah, you can listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, and all other media. So hope you like it. Uh, 
want a taste of the sweet life, sweet life. I want a taste of the sweet life, sweet life. I want a taste of the sweet life, sweet life. Cherry, I could be a cherry on top. You know, I just want to taste ya. Mm. Hit me with a little flavor. Mm. Cause you know, I don't do vanilla. Don't you want to take a bite of the sweet life, sweet life? gotta say too much now why we gotta talk when we could touch go ahead and touch my body baby we gotta say too much now why we gotta talk when we could touch mm -mm. and you might get lucky if you just shut up why you gotta talk about monday when i could be making your sunday yeah i could be your cherry oh i could be your cherry on top why you gotta talk about Monday when I could be making your Sunday? Yeah, I could be your cherry, oh, I could be your cherry on top. Honey, I don't need your drama, no. You should save it for your mama. Mm -hmm. And we could do anything you want. I give you my sugar high. For just one night, one night mm, We gotta say too much now Why we gotta talk when we could touch Go ahead and touch my body, baby We gotta say too much now Why we gotta talk when we could touch mm, And you might get lucky if you just shut up Why you gotta talk about Monday when I could be making your Sunday, yeah, I could be your cherry, oh, I could be your cherry on top. Mm. Why you gotta talk about Monday when I could be making your Sunday, yeah, I could be your cherry, oh, I could be your cherry on top. Na 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 I could be the cherry, oh, I could be the cherry on top. The cherry, oh, I could be the cherry on top. Sing it for me right now. I want a taste of the sweet life, sweet life. Yeah, I want a taste of the sweet life. No, 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 no. I want a taste of the sweet life. Sing it for me, sing it for me now. I want a taste, I want to taste the sweet life. Could be a cherry, oh, I could be a cherry, uh, could be a cherry, I could be a cherry, oh, na, 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 I could be a cherry, oh, I could be a cherry on top, na, 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 I could be a cherry, oh, I could be a cherry on top.